Hey there, YouTube. Today we're looking at County Com's Titanium um, Fountain Pen, which is, let me look up what exactly it's called. It'll only take a second, guys. Don't, don't panic. So it's called the, oh, they're sold out of them. So I can't look it up. Okay, uh, well, it's the titanium pen, and I guess they're gone. They had a 50% off sale, and uh, so this is titanium totally. There is no O-ring, and if you guys know anything about Countycom, they'll do limited runs of things. If you like this, uh, in the description down below, I will link to their site. But anyway, let's get into this pen. It's all titanium, including this and this. This is actually a cubiton. Means that it is a self-defense weapon. You defend yourself probably either by thrusting this into somebody or bringing this down on somebody really hard. I, the other day, was opening up a 30-pack of Guinness. This is, this is from a, a church key. It's not from this. But uh, I just wanted to see, you know, how sturdy this was, really. So to open everything up, I just punched it in and I ended up literally punching it through and like deforming this whole thing. And, you know, pop went everywhere. Pop. Uh, sorry, from the Midwest. Guinness went everywhere. Um, so, yeah, this thing is the real deal. It'll actually work because it's all titanium. It won't set off metal detectors. You do kind of have to make sure it stays all screwed together, which takes a little bit of tension, but there are no O-rings. And it takes uh, the Schmidt Mega... Mega line? Yeah, 4889 Medium from Germany. There's also no springs, which I think would have to be made of metal. So you take this, screw it back on nice and tight, Take this, screw it back on nice and tight, and now this thing's ready to go. Um, the only drawback, it works, it works as a fountain pen. The only real drawback is this. When you first go, because this is pressurized, right? This writes upside down, writes on anything, it even writes underwater. But because it's pressurized, when you first go to press this onto the paper, you see this part right there? Ooh, and that. Um, at first, there's just a little bit, it builds up around the tip, right? And I think it helps, like, get it going. Um, besides that, though, it's not bad as far as, well, it's not a fountain pen. Uh, you could call it a survival pen um, or, you know, whatever, an outdoor pen. Um, I forget what they're technically actually called. But the bottom line is, is this works, and it works well. It's all scratched up because I actually have been carrying it and stuff, and titanium scratches are pretty easy. You can get an extra one of these two and these things, this, the clip, for like 10 bucks, less than that. Um, this was 140 full price. I got it for 70 half off. And honestly, I have pretty much no regrets. Um, is it as you know, easy to throw in your pocket as a polka pen, made in America, by the way, just like this was. Uh, no, but the thing is, is that you can't defend yourself with a polka pen, and um, you can with this. And one thing I like about it is that, uh, like, say, I've unfortunately recently had bad experiences at the gym. I don't know if it's because everybody's locked up or has been because of COVID, but there's some people acting a fool. So um, when I go there now and I'm reading and writing or like marking stuff down, I just keep this with me. You know what I mean? And it's one of those things too. It doesn't look conspicuous in your hand, right? Like this is supposed to be in your hand, but unless you know what this is or what this kind of thing could be, you would never, you know what I mean? This is, it's just a hidden thing. And if somebody were to come up and I need to do a uh, tap on their noggin to knock sense into them, I totally could. And honestly, I think this might kill somebody if I did, you know, really get it. Um, it's just real strong. But anyway, it's all she wrote for uh, this one. 
Good rest of your day, folks. Goodbye.